minutes long and it's going to focus on lower body with a lot of attention to the glutes. So for it, we're going to need a resistance band loop. I would go light or medium with the resistance band. Um, you don't want to go too heavy because we do want it to be able to stretch pretty far because we're going to do some stuff with a straight leg. For the medicine ball, I'm using a six pound med ball because it's all I own, but you could go lighter or heavier than that depending on your fitness level. The first 20 minutes of the workout, we're going to be using the resistance band. We're going to be doing lower impact exercises um, and it'll be divided into two circuits. Then for the last 10 minutes of the class, we're going to grab the med ball and we're going to finish with a high intensity interval training circuit. It'll just be 10 minutes. We'll get some jumping in there. We'll get the heart rate up. It'll be a good, tough way to finish. Even though we are starting with lower impact exercises, it's still always a good idea to warm up before you do a workout. I have a five minute warm up on my channel you could do or you can just do it on your own. Before each circuit, I'll give you a preview of the exercises so you know what to expect. So without further ado, we are going to get right into our first circuit. Again, we are using the resistance band to start. Just push your medicine ball off to the side for now. on the right leg to start. So I want you to put the resistance band loop around your ankles a couple inches above the ankles actually. You don't want them right on the joint. And you're going to keep it around your left ankle and you're going to put it then slide it down to the arch of your right foot. So we're going to start in tabletop position again. It's around your left ankle. That's your base. And then it's around the arch of your right foot. That's going to be the target. So our first exercise is going to be a donkey kick pulse. Make your way to tabletop. You want your wrists stacked under your shoulders, knees stacked under hips. Pull your belly button up to the spine, abs engaged the whole time, neck is long. And then we're going to bring that right leg up to 90 degrees and we're going to pulse it here. Now when you do this one correctly, you really got to activate through every muscle in your body. Your arms are stabilizing, your core is stabilizing, even your left leg is stabilizing. It can be tempting to kind of lean over to that left side, you don't want to do that. So take a peek at your left knee, make sure your left hip is stacked directly over it. As we pulse, 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 driving the bottom of the right foot up to the ceiling. 30 seconds on each move. Alright, now straighten out your leg, we're going to lift up. You're going to swing out to the side, you're going to bring to center, you're going to lower a couple inches. So lift, out to the right, center, down a couple inches. Lift, out to the side, center, down. So waking out that side butt area, waking out, waking up that side butt area. Check in, are your ribs knitted together or is your low belly held in tight? All right, last move, you're going to come onto your left forearm. We have a spider kick. You're going to straighten out that leg. Three little pulses. Knee crunches in towards the shoulder. Straighten that leg out. Pulse, pulse, pulse. So your right knee and your right toes are pointed at the wall, not the floor. Now, I was talking about stacking your left hip. That goes for this one as well. I want you to take a peek at your left knee. Can you stack that left hip over it? So you need to squeeze into your left butt cheek as well. Okay guys, now you want the strap around your ankles, you're going to come to a hovering bear position. From here, you hop the legs to plank, jack, back to that hover. When you land in that hover, you want the knees right under your hips. Hips are at shoulder height. And over to the left side for donkey kicks. So we're going to do those same exercises. Other leg works. Find that tabletop position, abs in tight. Bring the knee up. Now as you do this, you want to try to keep your hips square. This left hip is going to want to roll open. Pull it down in line with the right. So keeping the hips square might mean that you get a smaller range of motion. That's okay. It's going to be more targeted. and straighten out the leg. Lift out to the left, 
center, lower. Now, if you're feeling this in a bad way in your low back, I want you to come to your forearms. It's going to be a little easier to keep that spine alignment down here. and on the spider kicks. So you're on your right forearm, your left hand, roll those hips open, you're crunching the left knee in towards the right shoulder, straighten it out, pulse, pulse, pulse. So you're kind of channeling a dog peeing on a fire hydrant here. Let's do that little form check. Look at your right knee, is your right hip stacked over it? Get it there, so you need to pop the hips forward a little bit. Okay, back to that bare plank jump. You're going to find tabletop position. Your hips are staying at shoulder height. If your wrists are starting to bother you, know that we are going to take a break from the tabletop and plank stuff right after this. Okay, 30 seconds rest. might want a chair or a wall, something to hold on to for balance on this one. You want your left toes pointing forward and then your right toes are going to angle out. But try to keep your hips square in front of you. Soft bend to that standing knee. If you can balance, if it gets to be too much, bring a hand to the wall. And it's just a little lift, little lift, little lift. So you're going to notice me constantly correcting myself through this. This right hip is going to want to roll open and I'm just constantly going to be pulling it forward, squaring it in line with that front left hip. Little lift, little lift. Low abs are held up and in. Make sure you do not lock out the standing knee so there's a little micro bend. Okay, now square the hips, toes point directly to the floor. A little deeper bend to that left knee, but not huge, and we're going to go into a deadlift. I want you to picture your body is like a seesaw. Up, back toes tap to the floor, and then take it forward again. Whoop, I already need that wall for some support. So the less you use the wall or a chair or something to hold on to, the more the standing leg has to work along with the back leg. This one, really both legs are working. You're going to feel it more in the standing leg, but we will soon get to pulses where we'll switch the focus back to this back leg, which is now. So take it low, hold, little pulse, little pulse, little pulse. Now check in on your hips. Are they square to the floor? Can you pull that right hip bone down an inch? Little lift, little lift. Low abs in tight. Your spine is long. Pulse, pulse. If you're holding on to something, maybe you try to take that hand away. Okay, popcorn squats. So one hand touches the floor, feet go wide as you lower down, and just alternate which hand taps the ground. Honestly, these feel kind of good. <laughs> it's nice to be able to do a big movement after those tiny little micro pulses. Okay, same sequence, other side. So right leg is your base leg now. Turn those left toes outward. Leg is straight. You have those straight leg lifts. Whew. Trying to square our hips to the ground as we do it. And you don't want to arch into the low back, so you're not flexing your back as you do this. Your abs need to stay in tight. The lift comes from your butt. Make a fist with that left butt cheek. Okay, now square off. We're going to go into that deadlift. If keeping your hands in front of you like I'm doing isn't working for you, you can also do hands on hips. 
You could even do airplane arms, extend them behind you. Or again, hold on to that wall or that chair as I need to right now. Okay guys, next time down, you are gonna hold that position. Standing knee is soft, hips square to the floor. It's a little pulse through that back leg. Whoo, trying to balance if you can. Abs in tight, chest is broad, shoulder blades drip down your back. Whew. Ooh, popcorn squats. Only time I've, I've ever been excited to do these. Okay, 30 seconds rest. What we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat those two circuits one more time. We're gonna start on the left side though this time with each one instead of starting on the right. For the donkey kick series, you want the, um, what's it called, the band, there we go, <laughs> around the insole of your left foot and then around your right ankle. Your right ankle is gonna be the base. Find that tabletop position, abs in tight, neck is long. Okay, bring that left knee up to about hip height and then you're gonna pulse, pulse, pulse. Now when you push the foot up, you don't wanna arch the back down. So it's not this. You have to hold the low abs in tight. When you do that, when you take out that movement of the low back, your leg movement might get really small. That's okay, it's only supposed to be a pulse. Sometimes bigger is not better. Make sure your right hip is stacked over the right knee so we're not leaning over to the supporting side. Straighten out that leg. You're gonna lift, swing it out to the left. Bring it to center, lower a couple inches. Lift, swing wide, center, lower. Now make sure that your leg isn't rotating open, so you need to spiral the inner thigh inward so that the top of the foot is pointing towards the floor the whole time. Okay, onto those spider kicks. Lower onto your right forearm. Stay on your left palm. Crunch the knee in towards your triceps. Straighten out. Three little pulses. Check in. That left knee should be pointing to the wall, not the floor. So don't let your hip drop down. Ooh, okay guys, we're going into that bare plank jack. So just slide the band so that it's a couple inches above your ankles. Jack, bear hover. I don't know if you guys follow Alexia Clark on Instagram, <laughs> but she always does these in her videos. And I was like, those look good, I'm stealing those. Okay, right side. So you want the band to go around the arch of that right sneaker. Stays on the left ankle. Find tabletop, come to 90, little pulses. Both hip bones should be the same distance to the floor. So if this hip bone's trying to rotate open, which mine always does, square it down. If you still find yourself opening up the hips, try tenting your opposite left hand, just so that you can't push as much weight into that supporting side. Okay, straighten out the leg, lift, swing it wide, bring it to center, lower. Now at this point, again, I showed you the modification on the first time through the circuit. If you are noticing your low back arching down like this, come to your forearms. It's a little easier to keep that good alignment down here. Okay, spider kicks. Open up, dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Crunch that knee and send it wide. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Whew. Okay guys, so focus is the right leg now, but your left side glutes are working too. 
you don't want to just lean into that outer left hip. You want to squeeze the butt cheek <laughs> and pop the hips forward. So look down at your left knee for me. You want to try to get your left hip stacked over it. <sighs> okay, last round of that plank jack series. A couple inches above your ankles. Wide, bare. These terms, bare, spider kicks, all that that I'm using, that is just from teaching at B-Tone for three years. That's what we call it there, so just kind of comes out. Good thing about this tabletop plank series, good or bad, I guess, is that your upper body is definitely getting a burn too. Woo, rest. Okay, 30 seconds rest. We're gonna go to that standing series one last time. All right, last four minutes using the resistance band. We're gonna start with the out turn leg lifts on the left side. So right leg is gonna be our base leg to start. Right toes point forward, left toes out at an angle. Square your hips forward, slight lean forward, soft bend to that standing leg. Again, we have a wall or a chair nearby. If we need it for support, let's go. Whoop, and I already need it for support. <laughs> So on this one, remember, we've rotated the thigh bone open, but we don't want to roll the hips open. It's not this. Pull that left hip bone forward. Try to square it in line with the right. And then once you have it, we try to balance hands in front of us, hands on hips, whatever works. Woo, okay, square it off. Seesaw. By the way, don't mind these lovely wires here. Uh, my cable box is attached to the wall, so I couldn't do anything about it. So I guess we're just going for an industrial chic look in today's workout. <laughs> hips square to the floor. Watch that left hip bone. Don't let it roll open. Man, my balance is terrible right now. Struggle city. Woo, all right guys, we're gonna hold low. Abs in tight, chest broad, square your hips and pulse. That standing leg should be on fire. Once you have the pulse, maybe we try to take those hands away. Oh man. popcorn squats damn so on those it's normal to feel it in your outer hip on the standing leg that's because we're balancing and so we are trying to stabilize with that lateral movement Okay, last side. Whew, adjust band a couple inches above your ankles. Left foot points forward. Out turn your right leg. Square your hips forward. Soft bend to the standing leg. Straight leg pulses. For these, it's way better to hold on to something and get the alignment down. Go into those deadlifts while I talk. It's way better to hold on to something and get the hips square and the alignment solid than to try to balance and wobble all over the place and have your hips roll open. So seriously, do not hesitate to hang on to a chair or the wall. Maybe I'm just trying to make myself feel better about the fact that I have to hold on to the wall every five seconds. <laughs> Okay, we have that grand finale, guys. 30 seconds. Well, grand finale for this leg anyway. <sighs> Little pulses. Abs in tight. Bend to the standing leg. Oh, man, do these burn. Oop, falling over. <sighs> Make sure you're not hunching. <sighs> Long spine. Ooh. Oh man, popcorn squats. My names for exercises, I realize, all come from group classes I take. I don't know if that's the real name for this, popcorn squats. That's what they call it, Barry's Boot Camp. So, 
That's what's coming out now. Ooh, and done with the resistance bands. Okay. So we've been working out for about 20 minutes now. We are going to finish with a 10 minute long circuit using a medicine ball, or you could use a light dumbbell as well. I'm showing you what those exercises look like now, and then we will get right into that. For this circuit, it's gonna be 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest and we're gonna do that 15 times. So you have five exercises. We'll go through those five exercises three times. Okay, first up is gonna be that overhead jump lunge scoop. So start with one foot forward, doesn't matter which one. Med ball overhead, abs in tight. Jump lunge, scoop to the side of whatever leg is in front. I like to scoop to this side because you're gonna be more stable and it's going to be easier to keep the knees pointing forward over the ankle as they should be. <sighs> to modify guys, just step back. Scoop, come up, step back. That's your modification. <sighs> and rest, 10 seconds. Next up, we're gonna do kind of like a bottom half burpee with a little hop forward and back. We stay low the whole time. So hop the feet back to plank, low squat, hop back, same thing. Weight to chest, hop forward. To modify, step. And rest. Next up, soccer drill. So we're just kind of running in place. It's like high knees, but you're tapping the ball. <sighs> Light tap. Abs in tight. Don't just hover your foot, actually tap it. Whew, 10 seconds rest. We're gonna go to a marching wall sit now. Okay, so weight at chest, knees to 90 degrees, holding here, and then we're gonna lift one knee up at a time. Whew. If you need to modify this one, just ditch the ball. You could also just hold a stationary wall sit like this, no marching. When the foot comes down, make sure the heel is right under the knee in a 90 degree angle. And rest. Okay, one last move. We're gonna stay low for this one. You pulse a squat, pulse a lunge one way, pulse a lunge the other way. So wide stance and then just pivot. Center, pivot. Both feet pivot. So look, both my feet point towards this side. Center, other side, center. Staying low. If you need to modify, ditch that weight. Okay, one round down. We're going through those twice more. We're gonna start at the top with those jump lunge scoops. So holding the med ball in both hands, reach those arms overhead. You're gonna switch jump lunge and then scoop the medicine ball to the outside of the front leg. Again, we're gonna scoop to this side because I always find I'm a little more stable this way and I'm better able to keep the knee pointing in the same direction as the toes without that knee caving in. If you need to modify these, just step instead of jump. And we rest. 
Next up, we're going to get low in that squat position. It's going to be that bottom burpee with a hop forward and backwards. When you come up in that squat, bring the weight to your chest, hold it in tight for the hop. Again, you're trying not to straighten out those legs, stay low. And rest 10 seconds. Soccer taps are up next. So again, like high knees, and we're just gonna lightly tap the ball with the top of our foot. Try to make contact with the ball every time you bring the foot up. You'd be surprised. It doesn't seem like it'd make a difference whether you're hovering your foot or tapping, but it takes just that much more control. <laughs> 10 seconds rest. Make your way over to the wall. Knees at a 90 degree bend, weight is in your heels, med ball held at chest, and then you're going to start marching those knees up one at a time. When you pull the knee up, try to engage through your low abs. So it's not just pulling through the hip flexor. I want your core to be working to help you drive the march. rest. Okay, last move. It's going to be that lunge, squat, lunge, pivoting forward, center, backwards. So you're doing a little pulse in each position and similar to those forward, backward, bottom half burpees we were doing, the goal is to stay low. So you'll, you're no, you <laughs> can't talk. You'll notice that I never come all the way out of the squat or the lunge. Okay, round two of the circuit is done. We're just going to go through those exercises one last time, starting at the top with those jump lunge scoops. So this is a leg exercise, but your core really needs to work on this as well to stabilize. So don't rush the scoop. If you find that it's throwing off your balance and you're sort of tilting over, it's way better to go slow and lock in on that form. Rest. Up next, you're going to get low in that squat. We have those bottom half burpee, those plank jumps, and then we'll hop forward and backwards. When you go down to jump into the plank, you want to make sure weight is in your heels at your lowest squat. That being said, when you do the backwards jump, you're going to land on the balls of your feet and then drop your heels down. Ten seconds rest. Soccer taps are coming up next. So once you have the rhythm down, see if you can pick up the pace. The goal of this one is to give you a little cardio blast, get that heart rate up. Not that the other exercises aren't cardio intensive, but this one is a little less on the sheer strength and just kind of getting the heart rate up, moving quick. Rest. We have two moves to go. Make your way over to the wall for those marching wall sets. If these are too much, you can modify by either ditching the med ball or just take out the march and just hold the wall set. 
By the way, hopefully my voice hasn't been too annoying throughout this workout. I lost my voice last week and it just does not want to come back to full health. Rest. Okay, we have one move to go and then you are done with this workout. Med ball held at chest, wide stance squat, squat, pivot lunge, pivot center, pivot other lunge. Really get low in the lunge. You don't want to hit your knee to the floor, but you do want to bring it pretty close to touching the ground. Last few seconds of your workout here. If you like this workout, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Also, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Do you like these longer workouts, the 30 minute length, or do you prefer the quick, intense ones that I've been posting up until now? I would love your feedback. That's all for me today. Make sure you take some time to cool down after this workout. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you guys here next week.